Welcome to the fastest stop in town. Today we're going to set the Samoyed Kotlin Daf Yud Aleph. We're going to begin on Yud Aleph. I'm an Aleph by the Mishnah. Oisin Makalagag. So this is right off the gate. Question TA30. Ha'im Mutu Lasus Maka Bechol Shemoyed. So this is the Mishnah. A person is allowed to make a Maka around their roof, uh, as well as Umar for their balcony. However, it has to be Masa Hejit, of Alul Masi Uman. It cannot be an expert uh, that's doing it. Shofin es hastokin, a person can smooth out uh, cracks. Let's just get to Rashi. Shibatanur, specifically of an oven. Umagil and oisin bamagila biyad varegel, a person allowed to roll it with a roller uh, with their hands or foot of a low bimach. Uh, but not with a pressing block. Basically, you can't use the typical uh, kalim that are used, says Rashi, because the machotsayim is v'yeshbo maise umen yoisim amagela. That pressing block is more than the use of a roller. Back in the Mishnah, Hatsir v'hatsinur v'hakoyur v'hamanoy v'mavteach shenishbu. If you have all these different things that broke, Hatsir, um, which is like a, a hinge. Uh, Rash says, Regal Hadelas, that Sinor is a hachor, the, like the whole, um, the kaira is a top beam, um, a lock, a key. So, Mesaknin Bamoyed, all these things can be fixed. You can't have the intention to have done it on Cholmoyed, says Rashi. You can't. Say, you know what, I'm just going to wait until Cholmoyed to fix it. No. If it happens to be that it breaks, then you can fix it on Cholmoyed. But if it broke two months ago, you can't say, yeah, I'm going to wait till Cholmoyed to do it. Any type of pickling that a person is allowed to do, um, that is allowed to be done. Uh, provided it's food you can eat. It says Rashi, Shiltzir, Kalimer Dugim, Rishar Devarim, Fish, Shikayim Shem Bemelech, you pick it with salt. Shiach Ochel Memoyed, Shal Yehid Tzarech Lahamtin, Bachilasan Adli Acha Moyed. You don't have to wait until afterwards. Shiu Nichvashin Maher, Beruin Lo Echel Miyad. Pickling process that goes quickly, that you can eat it right away, that is allowed. So Hechadami Masahedit, what is considered Masahedit when it comes to building this this fence? Rav Yosef Oimer Buhutz Vadafna, as we said before, you're using these like types of um, branches, uh, not the typical materials, but Masnisatana Tsar Bitsurur Vienu Tachbatit. Similar to what we said before, that you um you pile it up, but you don't actually use cement. Shofinus Hastokin o magilin as a magilin, you can use this roller to hashta the magila amrit shari beyond a regular boy. If you're saying you can actually use this tool, so cert which you would maybe think is more of a tool that's used by an uman, so certainly yan and regal, which is not masi uman, certainly should be allowed. So hachi kamer shofinus hastokin, you can. Uh, fix up the cracks and smooth them. Magil and ice and kain magil, and you can um, roll it like a roller. Be out of a rego with your hand or foot of a low b'mach l'tzayim. So it's actually you cannot use a roller according to this. Katsir, as we said, the hinge v'tzina v'kar b'menal b'manafteach shishbur masachin b'moyed. All these things can be fixed on chol moyed. Ramin he ad yomav haya patish k'mach b'shulayim chul. So they used to be banging and banging your shalai and making all this noise. Ad yom of in mikan ve'elchlo. However, it stopped, says Rashi. So Rab Yochanan Koin Gadol. Haya patish makibir shalai and b'chol shemoyed. Used to hear all this banging going on. However, who gazer love, he made a gazer ubitlo. He said, you can't do it anymore. So Alma Osir mastis katani masakhni manoi mafteach. How are you able to fix and make all these different uh, metal Things like uh, locks and keys, you need a black hand, blacksmith to be banging it. So how do we understand this mission that allows it? Lachayru was already um, ossered. So where is this little kasha? So I have a few answers. Kan bide nafchi, kan bide nagri. One has to do with a blacksmith, um, in which that is ossered because it has a loud noise. However, when it comes to 
Um, like a carpenter, that's not as loud. That's allowed. A mask of Rav Chista, Yomru Kal Raba, Asr Kal Zutashari. So then people are going to start saying, oh, this loud, this noise is allowed, is not allowed, this one is allowed. So, Elam Rav Chista Lukasha, Haba Magli Haba Chatsine. So what is that? Magli, Rashi says, is a masar hagadol, like a large saw. Shari, that's allowed. Shomoyud kalaklum, makes no noise at all. As opposed to chatsine, which does make a little bit of noise, chatsine is aser. So a large saw is mutter. Rapapo, aimer kan kadim gzer kan lach gzer. Pasha teretz, that before the, this mission is talking about before the gzer, when it was allowed. Ravashi, aimer, Harbihud Arab Yois, it's actually Machokus. Now we have Yitzhak, Barab Dimi, Mantana, Shini Bemoid, Badever Haaved, Deluk Rav Yoisi. Who's the one who allowed a Shinoi to be done in an unusual way in Chol Hamoid uh, regarding something which has caused a monetary loss? Not like Rav Yosi. Why? So I'm Ravina, come on, not like Rav Yosi. So let's look at Rashi. The Rav Yosi will boil a Shinoi, Badever Haaved. Rav Yossi actually does not require any shinu at all. Masnis in the shari hacha kol hani b'lo shinu Rav Yossihi. When it mentions that it can be done in any ne, any way without a shinu, it's like the shita Rav Yossi. So Rav Yossi is actually lenient. Am Ravina kaman madalina inna kavyosa didash b'chol demoada kaman Rav Yossi. Who is the one who allows? Says Rashi kishiyotzin masamrin shel eitz medakira. When these nails from the wood come from the beam, shall Pesach the Shari Lamevit blow Shinoi that you can fix these nails without a Shinoi. That's like the Shita of Rav Yosi. Kavoshim Shu Yochalacha Bamoid Kavishin you can pickle, but Disa fine, but Disa Liboi Kavri Ozu Kuliyama Sud says Rashi, but Disa right is a. Um, Badisa, as Rash says, is a Shem Nahar. So they have this river, uh, or in this, this particular Shem Nahar, or Liboy is a Shem Makoim, Kavri, uh, these type of fish, Azukul Yalmatsud. Everyone uh, captures them, says Rashi. Vinishtairisham Dugim Harbe. And they gather up many fish. Aisu Kavri, they bring the fish home. Sharlhu Rabulam Mimloch Minaihu. So Rabbi allowed that these fish would be able to be salted. I thought you can only pickle the things that are being used for Cholmoyed. It sounds like they gathered up a lot, probably didn't finish them all. So Since initially their intention was to eat them, and if they would end up leaving them, it's a financial loss, it's like a business transaction which would cause a financial loss, and that's why we're lenient. The Ikhani army, Sharlhu Rava Meitzad, that he allowed you to capture and catch the fish. Mazel, I say, that you can bring them home. So only, again, things that you can pickle, and you'll eat them on that mayad. The truth is, you could eat them by removing the salt from them. And therefore, they are edible, and therefore, it's something which is allowed to be on Cholmoyed. That he did this, says Rashi, if you wash them many times, and therefore, by washing them many times, you remove the salt and who's able to eat these fish. And he washed his fish and ate them. He was brought in front of him this type of fish, which it was cooked. Um, it was tilt of Shula, it was uh, cooked three times. Tilt of Milcha. Was or a third, a third salted, the tilt the tavia, and it was a third roasted. Um, fine. So Amara Amarav Amrile Ada Saida. So he said regarding Ada Saida, who happened to be a famous um, hunter, Kavar Samach Le Misrache Mali. That when it comes to fish that are close to becoming spoiled, those are actually the best. Says Rashi Kloimer Yafahu Achrezman. They're good. Um, when they're a little bit longer.
V'yomer Rav, Amr Le'ada Saida, this again, this famous hunter, Adat Saba, said, Kavit Tavya Bachua, that when it comes to this um, fish that is roasted, it's Bachua, says Rashi Ba'melech, Shamelech Nivra Min Hamayim Kedogim, that the salt um, is is uh, created from the water, it's like fish. Asuke um, Bavua, Says Rashi, Achash it's salt. After you roast it, nice to be mayim signing. You put in cold water, michle bibre, and then literally you eat it like the sun. Says Rashi, matil and oisel b'tzir. You put it in brine. Hayotz min adang of oichel nois, and that's how you eat it. Ishdi ali avua. Okay, and you drink on it uh, like avua. Says Rashi, sheshayis la mayim shedagim nivru min amayim. You drink water because it was it came from. The water. Okay, says Rashi. After you ate these fish, you should walk before you go to sleep. You shouldn't go to sleep. Again, immediately. So he says, when it comes to, um, again, the consumption of these things, again, a person should walk. He should not go to sleep right away. So, so Rashi's Mayavlo Shikra, Mutablishtois Achrayam Mayavlo Shekhar. Better drink water, not beer. Um Shikra Vlo Khamra. But better to drink beer than to drink wine. Okay. Um says Rashi Kavra Mo uh Somakla Mishe Mali. Was manaze Tyson Sakan L Mechel Samakla uh Lasir Khain. Even though maybe it's better to eat it for whatever reason right before it spoils but it could actually be dangerous because we may not know necessarily the right time to do it therefore a person should not necessarily take this great hunter's advice we continue now with the second pair on Yud Alf Amin Beis Mishnah says as follows Misha Hafach es Zesav, someone who literally turned over his olives, says Rashi, she is minan litnam al gabi haban. He was right about to put them onto the press, luhaitz mehem shemen, so that he'd be able to extract oil. So what happened? The iru avel. It turned out, and this is not related to Chalmoid, any time of the year, um, it happens to be that he was in Avelus. And Rashi says, Lefish Avel Ostermesis Malacha. Someone who's in Avelus is not allowed to do work. So the question is, what does he do with these um these olives? The Oinus or some some other thing that may have happened which um some ones happened to him, whatever it may be, that he wasn't he's not able to get to those to, to this task. Oh Shehitinuhu Poalim, let's say he has workers, as Rashi Shas uh, Shashir Litnam Al Gabi Besabad Kaidamarego Vobo. So basically you hired a bunch of workers to do this task and they just didn't show up. Can you imagine? So what's it then? So Tayin Kari Shoina Umanicha O Achamoyed. At least when it comes to the Cholmoid issues, that you should um load the beam on these olives, to squeeze upon them. And then leave until after Cholmoid. So Rashi was soich and lehem a kare pamach. At least do it once. The ilu oven hachi. If you don't do that, Eikub said he's saved. It's going to be a tremendous financial loss. And then afterwards, you can leave them. Umanicha boy shall yischat yoiser al the achar moed. Not to squeeze any more until after moed. Never be hudo. Rabbi Yosi Omer zoyle for goimer v'gaf kedarko. Actually, a person can squeeze as Rashi was soich at hakoyl kol midi the shofach kari ziluf. You can squeeze it entirely. Finish the processing. The process of pressing them. And then Gav Kadarkin can close the barrel. So Pasach Be'evil Masayim Be'moyed. It's a little bit confusing, this Mishnah, because it starts talking about someone who's in a veil, then it talks about Chol Moyed. So Rav Sheshin, Berei de Rav Yidi, Zosim Meres, Tavarim HaMutar Be'moyed, Asurim Be'me Evloi. This comes to tell you that things that are allowed on Chol HaMoyed um, are Asur when a person is in a veil, says Rashi. Kawaim Ro Hachi will perish to Asur Lo Litoin, Afil Kairu Rishayin Be'me Evloi. This is the reason why it doesn't say... Um, 
that he doesn't explain about the Isser of doing this even the first time. So in other words, on Moed, you're able to do this, but maybe not when it comes to an, an Avel, because again, he's us in Mesias Malacha. Ravashi are Meloma Boiker. Meloma Boi be me Evlo de Menor Bananhu Vashari. Actually, even though it's an Isser Malacha, for someone who's Avel, that whole Isser is the, is the Menor Banan, and therefore he certainly is allowed to do so. He's allowed to press at least once. El Afil Bamoy, the Isser Malacha de Rais, Midaraisa. The Makam say the Shara Banan. So when it comes to this, we're Make even though in Cholmoy is the din deraisa doing malacha. Tanig bas the Rav Sheshi bereid the Rav Edi elu the bar of oisin lo evel bimei evel. These are the things that a person is allowed to do at the time when a person is in avelos. So we're going to end up seeing again. There's certain things that are allowed only for on Cholmoy, which are not allowed on, on uh, for an avel. So zeisav hafuchim. So let's say again you have these olives that are turned over. To animoi, you can press it for him. The kadoi laguf and cover up with a lid. Upishtano um, haloisam in a mishra, as well as his um, flax. Fitzamru halos min hayoyra, as well as his wool to be able to make into a, a proper um, dye color. Umar beats in sadehu, and you can water his field. Mishdagia oynesamayim shalo. Now, this is Lechaira telling you that you're allowed to do these things on Cholhamo, uh, on for this Avel. Uh, let's be, let's let's go into this Rashi. El Afilu Chol Shemoyed the Asiru Be Malach Medaraisa. So how do we know it's an Isidu Raisa? So Rashi reminds us the pasuk says as Chag Hamasus Tishmar Shem Shishami Malamid Al Kol Chag Shu Aser. Fine. So Aisin Avel Chayru Avel Hu Atzma In Rishai. We see over here that someone could do this for him, but he, the Avel, is not to do any of these things, L'chayru. Including, says Rashi, Upishtano L'halos Mena Mishra, Kol Hani Ispahu Pseida Ilu Avedluhu. All these things that would cause a, trim, a financial loss. Next Rashi, Kol Echad Echad Mashko Sada Ishibabika Ish Yoimo Shvua Echad. If you hear the Omer, Av Zayrin Loitzdei Nir, you can also... Um, do seeding for a field which is a plowed field, the Sadaho Imedes Lopishton, or a field which is standing for uh, these flax. Amrulo, so they said to him, No. Imlo Tizra Bibacher Tizra Bafel. If you don't plant it now, you can plant it later. So it isn't considered to be a Dabra Aved, as he could plant later, and therefore it's not considered to be a financial law. So we don't allow this at all. Imo tizra pishtan tizra minacher. He can always plant with something else. Rabbi Shimon Gamaliel, Aimer Zeis of Afuchin the Insham Uman Elohu. Let's say he's the only one that knows how to do this task. So Kano Aguf the Insham Uman Elohu. Again, when it comes to closing up the lid, he's the only one who knows how to do it. Pishtanu Halos Mina Mishra, but Samaru Halos Min Hayyar of Insham Uman Elohu. Again, when it comes to all these different tasks, and he's an Avil. And normally we would say that we don't have to do malacha, but let's, there's no one that knows how to do it except for him. Harizei Yasebet Sina. He's allowed to do it. He should just do it uh, in a quiet, private way. Yes, okay, and more than that. Oma Rav Shem Ben Gamliel, Ima Hayu Uman L'Rabim. Let's say he's an expert. Vesaper Balwan L'Rabim. Let's say he has these different uh, tasks. He's a, a barber. He's a butcher. He does all these different things. And he uh, assists people. He should do these things. If let's say he is a um, a sharecropper, Rashi says that's a mekabli hasadais. So before we do that, Rashi says balon shomer beis amerchats, someone who guards, watches a bathhouse. Um, fine, and that's how he gets paid. So he's allowed to do all these different things because it's for the sarich of others. As Rashi Shakol Strichelo, how we say Yasek, when the Israelite Pseida is a loss, the Ikonami Tsarch Rabim. So because of the Tsarch Rabim, we're more lenient. Okay, so what are our recent sharecroppers, ten farmers? Makabli Hasada Sushanum Shlish or Via that they end up basically working the fields and they end up getting partial compensation. Um Kharikh and Rash says Shikibla Lashmira will Avdal Schum Kachlakh they get a certain amount 
specifically for their job of the field, the Kabulonim, Shikibul is Shaymil is Manploini, that they are going to guard it for a certain amount of time, for a certain amount of money, etc. Okay, so in all these different situations, the Gemara says, are Ilo Yasu. All these cases, they shouldn't do it. However, if it's Eitzel Acherim, then you could do. Sakhir Yoim, someone who gets paid by the day, a feel be Iracheres lo Yasa. Even if he's in another city, we do not have him do it. Haisim Alechas Acheres Acherim Biyadai, Avabishi Kiablonos lo Yasa. When it comes to Mlach of other people, uh, even though he is Kablonos, he should not do it. Avabi Shibi Kiboilis, Veloi Miboy Shaino Kiboilis. Adar Abi Kiboilis Didei Dami. You know, you would think it's the opposite because it's his money. El Ema Ben Kiboyos Ben Shenu Kiboyos. So Yasa, he couldn't do, should not do the work. Let's say someone is doing work for you, and then you become the Avel. The Vesel Yasu Babayasachar Yasu. So in your own house, you shouldn't do work, but in another house, you can do. Right. So again, so someone is doing the work for you, and that person became an, an Avel. So um, so in that situation, again, um, um, fine. Look at this Rashi. Okay. Um, Marion Marian the Rav and Mar Bere the Rav Ach Bere the Rav Habilahu Hahu Gamla the Toira Bahadi Hadadi. They had this animal. Um, Isra uh, be Milsa, something happened to it. The gamma is a, uh, is a yoke, a semed for the animal. And Rashi explains what was this Milsa. They, they became, uh, they were mourning. But Marba Rei de Rabach, Marba de Rabba, Opaski, Opaski, Legamo. Says Rashi, Hisik Shurj Min Hatsemed. They removed the ox from its yoke. Because they were mourning, and they're also commanded they can't allow their animals to to do work. I understand that he's not chayish on other people's losses. But you could do. So the difference is. That you could be more, you have to be more strict when a person is an Adam Chashev, and therefore we don't allow certain things which typically are um, are allowed. Um, okay, we're going to stop there. Let's see um, one more question, which is TB1. Be'ezah halacha b'davar ha'aved, Rav Yosim Mekel v'halacha kavoso, Be'ezah davar Rav Yosim machmer v'leis halacha kavase. So, uh, we saw before he was. We, we hold like him that we're makel that you do not need to do a shinoi, um, and the chomer we're going to see on tomorrow's dafadkan.